Hello there. Welcome to the Drifting Spore. I'm Steve. It's a beautiful morning in northern Nova Scotia this morning. Man, oh man. Just nice. I'm just sitting on the shed deck having my coffee. Watching the birds. Listening to the wind in the trees. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to have a little chat with you about my Ohuhu stove I've been using lately. So this little stove, you might have seen it in my previous videos, I've used it pretty consistently over the last few months. This was a gift from a really good friend of mine who knows me really well and knew I was way too cheap to buy one of these myself. Even though it's not expensive at all, this is something that qualifies for something I would buy for myself now that I've had one and know what they're all about. So, under 30 bucks backpack stove I guess you would consider it so let's have a look at it and see what we got so when you open the stuff sack you'll see the whole thing comes out in one nice piece I've used a lot so I'm probably gonna get dirty while we do this so the first thing it's got a cooking grate that you can use for cooking on top of I find my canteen cup I use this to support my canteen cup over top of this stove. We've got the actual top to the stove. It's got flip out pot stands or pan stands, which are great and have held up really well. No trouble there. Inside we've got a stainless steel bowl. I've used this to put my alcohol stove in. My homemade methyl hydrate stove goes in there very well. Fits perfect, a pop can stove. And I put wood pellets in there. Also worked really well. The early birds. Also, now, once you get into the heart of the stove, those are all the extra parts. So this would be the bottom base to the stove. You can see it's pretty dirty. I've been using it. In this part of the stove, this is a inner bowl, which sits inside the middle of the stove. And you can run this bowl two different ways. You can run it. I found this really handy too. You can run it so it's down inside, so it fits down low, fill it with sticks, that works really great. But if you're using, I found an alcohol stove, you can put them like that, upside down, and then your alcohol stove will sit very near to the top of the stove, which makes it really intense heat up top for boiling water. And with the methyl hydrate stove I found, if you flip this over after your water's boiled, put your methyl hydrate stove way down in the bottom of this down here and put it on. Then you have enough distance that you can actually simmer on that, like with a frying pan with a methyl hydrate stove, which is great for that option to be there. And then of course, once it's up and run, you throw your top on. Now this stove feeds only through the top. There's no no little doors on the side to jam sticks into it, and that's fine. <clears throat> so I've used this stove over the last few months. I've uh, got to say, out of all the fuels I've tried in it, I've tried uh, sticks, I've tried wood pellets in it, I've tried charcoal in it, and I've tried my methyl hydrate stove, my penny stove. Out of all those fuels, I think my favorite is sticks. Number one is definitely sticks, because that's what the stove's designed for, and that's where it works the best. Just awesome, and it's fun after you're done cooking with it, with sticks, to just feed sticks into it. You get a nice tiny little campfire for the night. I've also found the uh, pellets work good. And uh, charcoal did not work as good. But the uh, my second number two fuel would be the methyl hydrate stove. 
for the option of boiling or simmering on that by flipping that in, inside bowl up or down. Just works amazing. I love it. And in Nova Scotia, we're often under a berm ban. So if you're unsure, if you're allowed to have a fire in the woods, you should, uh, should have a methyl hydrate stove to use with something like that. Works awesome. I've been very impressed with it, especially where I made it myself. I love that. I love stuff I can make myself out of pop cans or whatever. So that worked really good. Your little attachments fit inside. The little bowl works well. This guy sits on top. I find this little grill a little bit finicky, but you get it. Play around with it and you get it. So that's it. That's my overview of the Ohuhu stove. I mean, man, for under 30 bucks, I love it. I've never had a stove like this before. And you know what? Don't take my word for it. I'm sure there's better stoves than this out there. This is just the stove that I've got. And I really like it. It's a uh, small, packs down nice and tight into my pack. I can usually take it with just a haversack. I really like a haversack loadout when I'm going out on a drift. Birds are chasing a raven around. Huh. So yeah. Oh, one more thing that I added to the stove. When I first got the stove, it was winter, so it wasn't that important. But now that we're into summer and burn bands and all that, I added a super cheap baking pan. A little couple inch baking dish. And what I do is I put that down on the ground, then put my stove on top of that. And that just makes it so I'm not lighting the ground on fire underneath me or anything. And that works really great as well. Oh, I got getting my Yeti dirty from playing with this stove. Anyway, folks, thanks for joining me. That's it for me for this morning. I'm going to kick back and finish my coffee and enjoy this beautiful morning here in northern Nova Scotia. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my look at the Ohuhu stove. If you're wondering whether or not you should get one of these backpack stoves, man, for somebody like myself that never had one before, never even tried one, basically up until a couple years ago, never even seen one, these things are really cool. If you go on four-wheeler or side-by-side, -side, something like this for a quick cup of coffee or a quick lunch, awesome to have in a pack, tucked away somewhere. Throw it in your car, put it anywhere, man. They're good. I like it. I will continue to use mine. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye for now. Oh, and remember, folks, life is for the living. Just go live it. Bye for now.